July. Uber's annual Elevate Summit has begun in the district. This event dedicated to the company's future aerial option. Transportation reporter Sam Sweeney was at the Reagan building to show us what Uber is calling the future of air taxis. Well, it looks like something out of a movie, possibly the Jetsons. Take a look at this. This is what Uber calls their future air taxi. Say you work in downtown Washington and you want to go out to the suburbs, this is what you would take. You would take off vertically, the rotors would be upright, and then once you get into the air, they would move down like this, and they would propel you forward at more than 150 miles per hour. Uber says it would be simple as opening up the app, and it would be affordable enough for most people to use. Take a look inside here. I want to walk you over inside the cabin here. This one seats five people, four here in the main area, and one up there where a pilot would sit but they tell us this will be fully autonomous when it is ready to go. At the beginning, they say there might be one pilot there just to keep people feeling safe and to overcome regulatory obstacles, but they say eventually it will be pilotless. We caught up with one of the organizers. Let's hear how he describes exactly how it'll work. Exactly like you'd call an Uber car, ride hail through an app, go to a vertiport, um, so we're looking at the whole stream of, of, that, of that transportation stream. So you could take an Uber ground vehicle to your vert vertiport, take that leg of your transportation in the Bell Nexus, land, walk the last distance, or take your Uber car to your home or office or business or wherever you need to be. So you're probably wondering about a timeline for this, when it will get into the air, when we could see these in cities across the country. Well, Bell, the manufacturer, this model says it roughly will be around 2025 is what they're hoping for but there are certainly a lot of regulatory hurdles, also infrastructure hurdles. And here in the district, there's also the flight restriction. You can't have, uh, most private aircraft can't operate inside the Beltway, so we'll have to see what happens with that. A lot of policy changes will need to be put into place before this could become a reality. Reporting at the Reagan Building, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News. When we come back for you this midday, a hometown